What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right. Me and my little beautiful wife right here. Every week, we're bringing you guys tips, tricks, and things that will hopefully ignite, entice, and enhance your relationship to a whole new, better level, right? And don't worry if you guys aren't in a relationship out there. You guys can use this great information that we're dishing out every single week to you guys to help you guys in your future relationship to make sure it's successful, right? But if you're in a relationship, you want to look at some certain things here, right? And one is is your values. I think values, morals, and ethics are very, very important to look at, right? And when we look at some of these different things, we want to look at things that you guys have in common and you guys are sharing that are going to take your relationship to a better future relationship. So we talk about some of these things. One, we mention to it all the time, and that's communication, right? You got to have communication with your partner, good times, bad times, what your future is going to entail, how you guys are going to get past certain things. This is something where communication really plays a major part. Um, even if you've been with your partner for a long time, like me and her, uh, now we can pretty much guess kind of what the other person is going to say because we've been around each other for so long and so much that we kind of know, you know, generally what we're going to do or what's going to happen or what someone's going to say or so it's it's not that hard to do right like, uh, yeah he's not going for that um yeah i mean <laughs> kind of know like hey listen you know if somebody says something like yeah it's going to be a no go or yeah probably like that it's very very minimal times where it, i might get thrown off guard like really like do you really want to do that or you really want to see this or you really want to talk to this person or whatever it is right but it doesn't happen too much not often. Right? so that's one major thing the second thing, commitment. So committing to each other, committing to your relationship. This is really, really a, a strong point to go off of because if you're not committed to each other and to the relationship, then you know things can be going left and right at the same time. Mm -hmm. Whether you know you're opening your up op your options of hey maybe something might better might come along the grass is greener on the other side. Mm -hmm. um, you know I don't think I have a future with this person, right? Mm -hmm. That's a problem, yeah. okay? Because then your end goal, they don't align with each other. Right? Yeah, you have to have the same end goal. You have to have the same end goal. You guys right? got to be going to the same gate, at That's least. That's right. Not one of you guys going to gate A and the other one's going to gate G. Yeah, or like, uh, you know what? I'm going to take the 5 o'clock bus and you can take the 10 o'clock bus or flight or whatever it is. Jeremy, right? you take the 10 o'clock bus. Yeah, see? So <laughs> you don't want that, right? The other one, trust. Right? you got to be able to trust your partner. That's mm -hmm. your partner. So, you know, if you don't have trust, then, you know, a lot of things are going to go wrong or you might be second-guessing a lot of things that you guys are doing. Mm -hmm. This could be another issue. And trust is a big issue with a lot of couples out there, yep. especially with all social media out there and all these different things to distract you from your relationship yeah. one way or the other, right? Or temptation coming up and biting you on the butt. And at that point, you really lose it out on something that could have been really, really good for you, genuinely, right? Right. I see this happen all the time. Um, you know, relationships, you know, the trust factor isn't there in the beginning because maybe... Coming, from, coming from a scorned relationship. Coming from a scorned relationship or this one happens a lot, right? Um, coming from some somebody that was in a relationship when you got with them. Yeah. So if they're in a relationship currently and then you start, you know, creeping with them and they start cheating on their, their partner at that time with you and they're like, oh, and you're like, oh, you better leave your partner. I'm not going to do this anymore. I'm not going to be the side piece or anything. Yeah. And then they decide, oh, all right, fine, I'm going to leave my partner and then they come with you. And now you're second guessing like, oh. Oh, you're going to do that to me now? Who's going to be your side piece now yeah. that I'm the main one, right? right? Or always question your body. Even if there is no other side piece or you really, really, you know, cared about this person. If you're going to do something like that, then you have the person end the relationship right away, right? Even if you've already made the mistake with, you know, being with them or whatever it is, you have to take a step back and be like, listen, okay, well, I really like you. Everything is great. And, you know, I want to be involved with you, but you got to end this, whatever it is. Whether it's a, a marriage that, you know, they're still married on paper and, and they're separated, right? Mm -hmm. This can cause other issues. And we see this, we see this quite a few times. Yeah. Um, and, you know, like I said, having the person cheating on their significant other with you, it's, that's not knowing, that's not better, right? And, oh, they love me more. Well, they might do the exact same thing to you that they just did to that partner later on down the road when. Things have gotten boring, per se, right? Mm -hmm. So this is a big, big thing. Uh, the next thing, conflict management. <laughs> Sheree's asking, she's like, what is conflict what management is conflict for conflict this? management So I come up with these because I think they're really good. You know, conflict management is the way that you're going to handle problems when they come. 
and this does entail communication and commitment and everything like that but you guys got to have some sort of reasoning and then it's got some sort of compromise in there so you guys can get to some sort of resolution and you guys are both happy with the res resolution in some way shape or form you might not be happy at first but there's got to be some middle road if you guys do have some sort of conflict mm -hmm. and these conflicts could be a number of different things let's say you have to move for your job right your significant other that you're married to has a great job here and like i don't want to move like i like florida i like this you know and i gotta move like why you guys got to be able to you know come up with a solution some sort of resolution or solution for that problem halfway points guys. you know halfway points. um whether you know you're upset about something they did out there right this is a conflict that you guys have to resolve in some way shape or form so you know, communication is a big part of this, I think. Um, but understanding, you know, that's another one that you guys have to involve with this conflict management portion. You guys have to manage the conflict, whatever it is, and you can't let it get out of control um, and let it control your relationship for the future, right? Mm -hmm. You got to take take the ropes in hand and, and handle it. Um, next one after that, respect. So respect is a major one, I think, with partners. Um, you got to be able to respect your partner, whether it's a male or a female or whatever it is. At that point, if you don't show each other respect, you know, one side is probably not going to feel good about it, right? Salty. Um, they're going to feel salty. They're going to feel scorn, whatever the word is as far as that goes. Not happy. Uh, mad. Not happy. <laughs> yeah, sad. Mad, sad. Sad's another one, right? Like, why doesn't my partner respect me or I don't feel, I feel like I'm disrespected all the time. Uh, these could be things that you're saying or actions that you do um, that makes your partner feel like this. And... If this is happening and you are the partner this is happening too then that's where the communication role comes back in and you start talking about these problems and then the conflict management happens right <laughs> see i, I got you had it all worked out i have this set up right right tired. Um, you know because this, this is what we do you know to a certain extent we might not call it conflict management but that's yeah we don't call we do, it that right? yeah um, but there might be a day even because i i am notorious notorious for when i'm going like five or six hundred miles a minute I'm talking a certain way maybe to the staff that just made me mad. And John just so happens to walk by in the midst of me in this very angry moment, right? Yeah. And it's common. It happens a lot. I mean, we've been working together side by side <sighs> for 10 years, Oof. right? And it's tough. You know, it's not easy. So, you know, I might, you know, he might ask me a question and then I say something and it might come across like super snippy or short. And it, I definitely don't mean it that way. And you know what? Sometimes I don't even realize it till he says something about it later. Like, hey, listen, I didn't appreciate that. But that's where communication comes into play. Maybe your partner didn't realize that they said something. And then you should what? What should you do then? Should you just ignore the fact they said it and just keep doing it? No, no you should apologize. Say, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to disrespect you or, you know, yell at you or whatever it was you did at the moment. And be like, I'm, I'm sorry that I did that. Mm -hmm. And try to do better. You know, mm -hmm. that's the whole point is to try to do better. Absolutely. As long as you're trying to do better, that's all that really matters, Absolutely. right? And you're constantly working on it. You know, we Absolutely. say the same thing about a relationship. You're constantly working at it. You know, people that work out, right? You're constantly working to make your body look better, right? It's the same thing with a relationship, mm -hmm. right? If you constantly have to continue working at it, working at it, working at it, so that you grow and you become stronger and, you know, together as one. Like when you guys are together as one, nothing comes between you guys that's right you should be the strongest that you ever are if you were both together yeah. right um the next one afterwards forgiveness now nah. plays a big role too you gotta <laughs> forgive right and nah. i'm not saying it has to come easier or whatever it could be a big issue or a small issue but there's got to be some way of forgiveness right you know, people are going to make mistakes and if you can live with that mistake then you and you're going to forgive them you got to give forgiveness and that's all the way across the board if you don't do that you guys are going to be stuck at this this meeting point in the road where you know it's like listen we can't get past this point we can't go on it's like having a flat tire and you're in the middle of the street like what are you going to do here you're going to change the tire and, and keep driving or are you going to push the car to the side of the road and wait for the tow truck to come forgiveness you know like if john happens to tap the back of my car or something and a little tiny scratch that's forgiveness right yeah and bought her a brand new car so i don't like <laughs> wait hold on the back it's the other way around too you know i've driven john's car when i didn't when i mine got totaled and you know i wasn't so used to it, it had so low and i pulled it right over the curb and pulled it right back out i was like hee, hee. but he forgave me yeah. <laughs> so it's forgiveness right get yeah. over it get past it move on um next two last one after this one would be the best one i think but authenticity so being authentic with your partner all the way You're authentic about your relationship true to form this is the way you gotta be right after that 
Empathy. So you want to empathize for your partner or with your partner because there's going to be certain things that you're going to come up that you have to empathize with, right? You know, there's certain things that happen as far as in the, the relationship um, that, you know, showing empathy to your partner um, will go a long, long way, right? You might not be going through what your partner is going through, whether it's a medical problem or family issue or whatever, but you empathize with them. You put yourself in their scenario. Um, you're not sympathetic to the issue, but you're empathizing with the issue right, right alongside of them. You gotta love real life so, scenarios here, guys. Yeah. yeah. We do work during the show, and yeah. yes, I do have an alarm going off. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so listen, guys, these values, I think, are very important for a relationship, right? I think that everybody should take either all these things or some of these things and start implementing them right away. All of them. And hopefully you guys are doing some of these things already and this is hopefully helping your relationship out. But maybe you're missing one, two, three, four, five of these things. Start implementing them one at a time if you need to or all of them at the exact same time. And things will be a lot better, I think, with a relationship. Maybe your partner will be like, oh, what are you doing? Or why are you doing this? It's, it's because you I know? saw John and Teresa's Cupid's Corner, and they gave me the best advice I have ever gotten. I mean, it's every Sunday on ABC. That's right. At 11 a.m. So make sure you guys are tuning in to us every Sunday at 11 a.m. for another Cupid's Corner. We're bringing you guys this awesome information for you guys to take and start using it. Using it with your partner, using your relationships, I promise you guys will be calling us or texting us like, thank you so much for that tip. I really appreciate it. And for you guys out there, if you don't like some of the things I'm saying because I'm kind of uncovering some things for you, trust me, just roll with it and your wife or girlfriend or fiance or boyfriend, whoever it is, is going to be a hell of a lot happier well, for you. Well, maybe they'll bring it up to you finally, something that's bothering them or vice versa. And, you know, that's a good thing. Yeah. That's communication. Yeah. Because, listen, sometimes that crystal ball, you know, the the – Titan crystal ball. It doesn't always work, right? So if the crystal ball's not working, then you don't know. So you have yeah. to uh, speak up. So guys, catch us every Sunday, 11 a.m. on ABC for Cupid's Corner. Me and my wife, Sharice. And if you guys missed it, go to YouTube, type in Titan Medical Center, and check out all the episodes. We love you guys. We'll see you guys next Sunday, 11 a.m. for another Cupid's Corner. See you then. <laughs>